Hello everyone, I'm Ludwig from UNO Platform and today I'll show you how to quickly and efficiently update your entire app theme in the UNO Material Toolkit leveraging Material Theme Builder tool. So first thing to do is to, through your browser, navigate to your Theme Builder and you should be greeted with this page here. You can find it through Google, uh, and it'll be the top result and just click on custom. Now we have a little app preview here uh, showcasing this lovely purple theme. And if you scroll down, you can see some component examples as well as the details of all of the colors that are included in this theme, uh, both for light and dark modes. So I'm going to go ahead and customize this. Oh, I'm going to uh, envision a scenario where um, my app's brand is actually a nice green. So I'm going to play around with these to get a shade of green that uh, I like. That's beautiful. So now I can close this. And we already see that all of the components have been updated to follow, as well as our color charts. And now all that's left to do is export this theme using the button uh, available on the top right part of your screen. So I'll click this and I will select Material Tokens. DSP. So this is the format you want that will be compatible uh, with the UNO plugin and the UNO material toolkit. I'll click this and download it locally. Then the next step is to switch over to Figma. And so here we are. So this is the Figma community where you can find the UNO material toolkit file. I'll start a new one by clicking on this blue button. And now I'm ready, I'm ready to start a new project. The file opens on our example app, uh, which showcases our base purple theme. As I zoom in, you can see the different pages that have been uh, built using all of the custom components and color styles included uh, with this Figma file, freely available to you. And now the next step is uh, launching the plugin so I can import the color theme that I've just created in the theme builder. So now that the UNO plugin has launched, I'll navigate to the Properties tab and I'll select, I'll click on this button here that reads uh, Import DSP Theme. And I get my file browser. I'll select the latest theme I've just downloaded. No need, no need to uh, unpack it or unzip it. I confirm that this is the theme I want to apply and it's success. I'll just close the plugin so we can see better that my app, all of its colors and all of its brushes have has been updated. And this is true both for light and dark theme. If I relaunch the plugin here, I can demonstrate that in just a few clicks, uh, we've managed to update the entire app and all of its resources. Now, this is not only true for its preview, it is also true for the code that's exported, um, both in XAML or C-sharp. If I go to color overrides, I get my entire dictionary with all the new values here. So that's how you leverage the Material Theme Builder tool to really quickly and efficiently change all the colors in your project. Now, what happens if um, maybe this isn't quite exactly the look you want? Maybe there's just one or two colors that you need to change. Uh, so here's how you do that manually. Um, I'll select an instance here. Let's say this is the fab button and I don't quite like this shade of green. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go over to my properties grid, select the color, open up my edit color style and move my palettes around so you can see better. And I'm gonna play a, a bit with this. Zoom out so I can see a bit better. Okay. How about this nice, uh, play around with this. Let's say I enjoy this nice shade of blue. All I have to do is close up my panels and I see that the change has been applied to the color style. And what that means is that any component using this color style has also been updated. As you can see here in the chips in my filters panel. So if you wanna see that clearly, I'm gonna undo the change using control Z. 
and now we have our original and I can even undo uh, the application of the theme itself by hitting Control Z a few more times here. So I can go back to the purple theme, my original purple theme, uh, just by <laughs> cycling through my history. So that's how you can um, play around with your colors and adjust them uh, to be just right in a safe, non-destructive way uh, and uh, without spending uh, hours updating every single uh, color style one by one. I hope this helps. Thank you. It's been Ludwig for Uno Platform.